Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. Um, a few of you guys noticed that I went disappearing last week. Um, the matter of the fact is I weren't well. If you go look at my channel you will realise that there's a week full of uploads missing. I was, I was in fact bed rested for about a week. So that's why there's no uploads from uh, last week and I do apologise but obviously I can't help not being well um but anyway back now um so let's get started guys this video is sponsored by lol t-shirt company i sell my merch link for my merch down in the description below so um let's let's go and let's get down to this um guys you know what i do so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we're going to talk about is Bradford versus plymouth um plymouth Nil nil at home to Cambridge. Try and sum that up on a um, Plymouth perspective. Um, it is a bit tough because I know where um, Plymouth, you know, they've gone a bit off at times this season, um, but currently still sitting in third. Um, Bradford uh, loses 2 1 away to Newport County. That is their last result. Um, I've got yesterday's results as well, so it will sort of like, it all make sense in the end. Um, but Bradford's last result was a 2-1 defeat away to Newport. Um, over to the form table quickly. Um, Plymouth are currently sitting in fourth, picking up eight points from the last five games. Yeah. That could be quite an interesting one come May. Um, you know, picking up, well, I wouldn't say so little points, but drawing the last two as well. Um, will that affect them? Um, Bradford picking up four points from the last five. I can only see this game going one way, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Plymouth win. My next one is Cambridge versus Carlisle United. Um, Carlisle United um, drawing Morecambe at home 2-2 two, two. yet again another result that possibly start disappointment if I was a Carlisle fan but Carlisle are down in 20th um, Cambridge 0-0 away to Plymouth I think that's a good point for Cambridge um, Cambridge currently sitting at 11th and picking up 13 points from their last 5 games um, but Carlisle only picked up four points from their last five games. Carlisle was struggling to win at this present time. So I'm going to go for a 2 0 Cambridge win. My next one is Colchester United versus Cheltenham Town. Um, well, it's the first of the midweeks. Um, Cheltenham Town did beat uh, Northampton Town 2 1 at home. A great three points for Cheltenham there. Um, Colchester beating Sulphur City 2 1 away from home. So, you know, great three points for um, Colchester there as well. Um, I just want to go look at Northampton Town, and I've been missing. Northampton Town have only got three points from their last five games. Okay, that's a bit surprising. Um, Cheltenham Town currently sitting in fifth, 12 points out of their last five games. 60 points, just 3 points after all semantic promotion places. Uh, I think Colchester works out a bit differently. Yeah, this could... Oh no, I can't. 5 points between them. Can't be a table changing game. Um, but Colchester could put the pressure on the uh, top 3. But I think this could be a draw. I think it's going to be a very exciting. But I think it's going to end up as a 3-3 three, three scoreline for that one. My next one is Exeter versus Crawley Town. Crawley Town beating Stevenage 2 0 at home. Um, Crawley, I want to talk more about them in just a minute because of the uh, how well they've been doing it from time to time. Um, Exeter City losing 2 0 away to Northampton Town. So, you know, Exeter are going on a bit of a downer this weekend. 
But I want to just go talk about Crawley a second. Currently sitting in 12th. We're literally 11 points off the um, playoff spots. Um, I think it's going to be touch and go for Crawley this season. Uh, six, they've got 8 points from their last 5 games. They need to start hitting a bit of form. I think they need to win about 3 on the bounce. If they're going to do, you know, get up to the playoff places. I hope they do. Um, I don't live too far away from Crawley myself, but, you know, it'd be nice to see um, another South Coast side, for say, that um, makes it into League One. But we're going to have to wait and see for that. Uh, so I currently sit in third place, 63 points. I only picked up nine points from the last five games. I'm going to go for a bit of a shock for this one. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Crawley win. My next one is Forest Green Rovers versus Lake Norian. Um, Lake Norian joined 2-2 at home to Oldham. Forest Green losing 1-0 away to Scunthorpe. Forest Green have really come down over the past few weeks. Um, only picked up two points from their last five games. Um, do I think Forest Green I don't think Forest Green will make the pass, to be honest. I think this down bit of form has hit them at the wrong time. I remember Forest Green being in the playoffs and sitting comfortably in there. Um, late Norian picking up eight points from their last five games, currently on 39 points, nine points off of Macclesfield, who are in the relegation zone. And we all know what trouble Michael should have facing. Um, with the, I'm going to go for a bit of a shock for this one as well. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 late Norman whip. My next one is Grinsby Town versus Northampton Town. Grinsby Town beating Newport County 4 2 at home. Um, you know, a name of that, that was a midweek game. Uh, Northampton Town losing 2 1 away from home to Chapman Town. Um, I want to talk about Grimsby first. Picking up 10 points from their last five games. Company on 44 points. I don't think they go down. I think there's no real harm in saying that. Um, Northampton Town only pick up three points from their last five games. Northampton Town ain't too careful. They will end up like Forest Spring, I think. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, at the playoffs and, you know, mid-table team. Be interesting. But I'm going to go back to Northampton Town to get back on winning ways. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Northampton Town win. <laughs> My next one is Macclesfield versus Sulphur City. Um... Macclesfield losing 2 0 away from home to Crew Alexander. Salford City losing 2 1 at home to Colchester. Um, I just want to go over to the form for Salford City. Last time since I've done this, um, Crawley have overtook Salford City. Um, but Salford City have taken up 5 points from their last 3 games. Yeah, not good enough to go with this division, I don't think. Um, I know it's very similar to Crawley, but a point is a point at the end of the day, and that's why I look at it. But the selfish city's form, I don't think it's good enough to go out of this division. Um, obviously, it's always an end season, but it's got to be an interesting ride. Um, Macclesfield, you know, pick up two points from their last five games. I think Salford are going to win this one, and I'll go for a 2 0 Salford City win. My next one is Mansfield versus Swindon Town. Um, Mansfield losing 1 0 away from home to Cheltenham Town. Swindon Town are. You know, one of them teams that are really performing this season and they beat Grimsby 3-1 at home. Swindon Town are one of these teams that are really fine this season. Um, 
you know, currently sitting on 66 points, four points off of Plymouth who are in the playoff zone. Um, Swindon picking up 10 points from their last five games. Um, Midfield are down and Rodney at the table, 35 points, only picked up five points from their last five games. I'm going to go for a Swindon Town win, and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Swindon Town win. My next one is Morecambe versus Crew. Um, Morecambe joined 2 2 away from home to Carlisle. Uh, yeah, great point there for Morecambe, I think. Um, Crew Alexander beating Macclesfield 2 0 at home. Um, Crew are another team that's fine this season. Um, Morecambe might the wrong end of the table, just sitting a point off um, Macclesfield for the, pl uh, for the relegation zone. This game could be interesting. Do I think it, I'm going to go for a bit of a surprise? I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Newport County. Oldham Athletic drawing 2-2 two -two away to uh, Nate Norian. Uh, good point for Oldham, I suppose, where they're sitting in the table. Um, Newport County losing 4-2 away from home to Grizzlies now. Big disappointment there for Newport. Um, Newport County, four points out of the last five. Oldham, five points out of the last five. I think, you know, Oldham are doing okay this season. Um, how do I call this one? I'm going to go for a bit of a shock, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Oldham Athletic win. My next one is Port Vale versus Scunthorpe. Um, Scunthorpe beating Forest Green Rovers 1-0 at home. Um, try and summon that up. Obviously, a great three points for Scunthorpe. Um, there. Port Vale drawing 2-2 two -two away to Walsall. Great point for Port Vale, you could say. Um, obviously, not by the table standards by any means, but Port Vale are drawn points. With Northampton Town, the only difference is goal difference. Northampton's on 12, Port Vale's on 6. I'm going to go for a Port Vale win. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 Port Vale win. My last one for this weekend is South, um, sorry, Stevenage versus Walsall. Um, Stevenage. Losing 2 0 away from home to Crawley Town. Um, Walsall drawing 2 2 with Port Vale. This game, you know, Stephen is sitting at the bottom of the table and pick up no points from the last five. Need to pick up points if they're going to get to safety and hopefully results go their way. Walsall picking up eight points from the last five. Oh. I'm going to go for a Walsall win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Walsall win for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do, so I'd be fun if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.